Cheers. Hey. Sam had a wheelie backpack as a child, like she's going on the airport. Head into brunch. Breakfast. Time to meet. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that first sip. The inventor. Ryan is the inventor of Wise Potato Dips. It is spelled backwards. This building yeah, is really pretty. Oh, look at that building. With the columns. We got floating. So nice. Wow, look at that building. Yeah, Goldwyn Smith Hall. You know what that is? Nope. That gentleman right there on that chair? Mmm, right. That's the one that makes the books, the textbooks. Oh, McGraw? That's right. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the heaviest books. Kids don't even have textbooks anymore, they have CDs. Yeah, or the iPads, and they have all their textbooks on the iPads. Can't really tell my kids kids have I, no I, idea. I had to carry a books around. At scoliosis like, at the age of two. Hey. Sam had a wheelie backpack as a child, like she was going on an airport. I thought it was cool. And then you know what? I had my name on it. Here we continued exploring the beautiful campus of Cornell University. After brunch, we decided to walk around and explore the campus a little bit deeper. As you can see, it is absolutely breathtaking. We highly recommend coming in the fall so you can see all the great foliage. We'll see you at Two Goats. The destination is on your right. Two Goats. Ooh, room. make sure you hold on. Two Goats. You should go and hold on to that car real good. Wow. All right. Oh, it's so pretty here. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gibby is. How's that one taste? Nice. So it is. So pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. First time in the air? That is your first time here. First time visiting the region? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Jersey. Jersey, Jersey. Yeah. Cool. Whereabouts? Cool. Uh, Manalpin. Like by the Jersey Shore area? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and I'm in, I'm in Brick. So okay. right by the water. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hey, guys. All right, so this is the 13th route. So it's still a little bubbly. It's a Sunday nice. afternoon bubbly. This is, so again, this is the house that Red Wine built. Well, we have a serious awesome. love affair with Sparkle. So this is a very yeah, traditional yeah. champagne yeah. style. Aged seven and a half years. So this particular bottle uh, was bottled since 2013 vintage, which is the growing year. Received its wine in March of 2014 and put a cork in it in, in September 20th. And with the three traditional Champagne region grapes. So this is 62% Pinot Noir, 5% Chardonnay, and the remaining 13% is Pinot Meunier. Which ones do you like so far, Ray? So far, definitely the um, uh, the Brut Champagne they had. Yeah, that's it's what we started with. Kick ass, like kick ass. Um, the other ones we had so far. Um, so far the Pinot and Works are definitely like more of like the medium heavy body reds. And as we go deeper into the flight, they get heavier. And if you look at the actual colors, they get darker as they go around. And the Elf in the Oak, which is a sandwich shop, is only four minutes from here, so I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Right now, I'm sipping the Pinot Noir. And it's not Pinot Noir. P I N O T N O I R. Nice. Pinot Noir. I only know because we're staying in Ithaca and I feel so much from being in Cornell. Oh, I like the MC2. MC2. That's the one you just had? Yeah. I haven't got that for oh you. Oh my god, it's MC squared. <laughs> Keys. Would you, would you have read it as that? Yeah, no. Maybe. I would have read MC2. I would have read it like, like you. It's a mod, the, um, Albert squared. Einstein. Yeah, yeah. E equals MC squared. Yes. What's E? Einstein. <laughs>
<laughs> we don't belong in court now. <laughs> they got really good cookies here. Oh, this Ryan got pork this sandwich. was a pulled pork sandwich. But Ryan ate it all. This was a flight. There's only two left because we already drank. Well, it landed in the Gruner. Their dry Riesling. This How's Riesling was a little too, was a little sweet. Barn Rosé. I haven't tried this one yet. So oh, spinach bad. and artichoke dip. Yeah. What taste buds does it? Seven out of ten. <laughs> I didn't see my cookies like an eight or a nine. Like it's, it's a quality cookie. I think my house is around here somewhere. <laughs> Last day. Gang. <laughs> We are going to Milk Stand for like a late breakfast, brunch-ish. Um, they have a really nice menu. You know, I like my options. Yeah, the menu has great manners. It was nice to Sam. Yep, so it was very good. <laughs> so we're gonna go see if they do a good job. Sorry guys, we got too excited. Um, <laughs> that was chicken waffle. It's really, really good. They did a good job here. They did. Cheers. Um, <laughs> I had Eggs Benedict, but it was on a croissant, a coffee. Yeah, they did a good job. It was a long wait, but well worth the wait. Sorry, guys. We got excited. Oh, so pretty. Hello. Hello. I just scrolling on it, it's the last day here. Oh, really? Wow. So pretty. Cheers.